Hi, I'm Eric Pratt from US Broadcast, and today we're going to be talking about Switchblade's new 1U platform for live production. It's this little box here, which is not much bigger than our touchscreen monitor. It's a 1U form factor, and it has all kinds of connectors on it, which we'll get to in a minute, um, which are perfect for live production. And this particular platform is ideal for live switching using vMix, playout using Axel's XTV, or broadcast graphics using New Blue Effects broadcast for social media presentations or sports. So let's take a look a little bit about the connectivity on the unit and how it can work in your workflows. So this is the vMix configuration. It's slightly different than the new blue graphics or XTV playout uh, situation. They all have the SDI connectivity, but the uh, SDI for the in XTV and New Blue is up here where the GPU is. In this case, we've got an auxiliary um, Quadro, which is powering vMix, and the SDI is on the bottom here. And we can actually mix and match these because there's the, um, this is SDI input, and we can also have SDI output, and we can use the onboard GPU. So the motherboard can access the GPU that's on the, uh, the CPU in this case and we can use this as a vmix slash new blue or vmix slash xtv or even xtv slash new blue um, but in this case this is a dedicated uh, vmix system with a um, its own quadro so the sdi inputs are along the bottom here we have four display ports those can be program preview multi-view uh, ui we have normal computer connections gigabit ethernet usb um, Wi-Fi uh, stereo mini input and output. And those are basically the connections on the unit. That's all that fits on the back of something this small. So as promised, we're gonna go over a couple of the different software applications we talked about. Uh, vMix, New Blue, uh, Titler Live, and Axel's XTV. Uh, between them we have switching, we have graphics, and we have playout. And on this small form factor 1U, we've kind of merged them all into one performing unit. Uh, not that necessarily you want to run all three of these at the same time, but uh, from our tests, you can run all three of them at the same time, which is what we're doing here. So let me take a, a quick, give you a quick overview. Uh, vMix, um, we're using it to bring in an SDI camera and a few NDI sources. And let me explain what those uh, NDI sources are. One is the camera that you're seeing here. Um, one is the SDI source, which is what we we're aiming at the back of the unit earlier. One is just a um, NDI graphic with uh, overlay. It's animated. And then one is the output from the uh, Axel's XTV uh, in demo mode. and. VMix can do so much more. There is uh, a, a wide depth and breadth of videos uh, on the internet about it. So I'm not going to go into too deep on really any one of these applications, just kind of showing you that they can all work in concert. So there's VMix. Um, it's currently using the Quadro as its, um, its, its main engine, its GPU. And then we also have uh, New Blue. So New Blue Tyler Live uh, comes in a bunch of different flavors. This one is broadcast. That means it can do multiple channels, multiple layers, uh, all the way up to 4K. So it can do 16 NDI channels. We're just doing one. Uh, you can do that with um, Tyler Live Complete, but we're showing broadcast today. And what is cool about Tyler Live Broadcast? Um, we have a couple of examples of turning data into graphics here. And we can, for example, bring on an animated lower third. And this is being driven by um, a, C a CSV that's been imported. And we can step through the different CSVs, and it will do animated transitions between them using the graphics and data in the CSVs to, to drive them. And then we can step down to, let's see, I can make this not take that away. So if I need to have that in the upper right, and then um, instead of, let me turn this one on. So now I have three layers going. So I have a lower third, a bug, and a, a bug. And the next one that I want to show you is this guy, which I think should clear off, yep, those things. Um, I didn't tell them to clear off the two bugs, but I'm going to take them out uh, for, for now. 
these um, are driven off of this next one. This is a, an um, Excel spreadsheet. And how that is driven um, depends on, so each one of these is a line in the spreadsheet. And we can say, I want to fire off one of these. And as the speaker is talking, you can bring out the points at the pace at which they're talking. So that's, that's a nice feature. And then um, we can also do sports graphics. So this is um, driven off of the manual scoreboard tool, but uh, Tyler Live has a whole bunch of things called inputs. And all these inputs are methods of getting data into Tyler Live um, in order to drive different, uh, different pieces of, of content. So we can have um, XML or Sportscast or Stat Crew or RSS or JSON or, or what have you. Each different version of uh, the base products of Tyler Live um, are present social and sport, and they each have different components. For example, sport doesn't have uh, spreadsheets, present doesn't have um, stat crew. Uh, but however, complete has all of those, and then broadcast adds in a couple of uh, crucial features like multi-layer, multi multi-channel, um, high resolution. So that, that's that sort of kind of gives gives you the idea of the different versions of New Blue. Uh, what I've done here is I've added a scoreboard tool in case I want to increment these things manually. If I don't have a um, a, 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 a sportscast uh, XML feed from the scoreboard, I can just run this, and I can do this um, neatly enough. If I wanted to open this in a browser, uh, I can. Um, not just run this on a on a browser within the same system. I can run this on a browser anywhere on the same network by going to this address. So on a tablet, I could have somebody running the the score, which is a really nice feature. And then um, obviously the output of the the of this is going over to vMix. So I'm going to pull this back up and our bug and pop back to vMix to show you the integration. So you can see that um, I've brought this in, I've popped it up as an overlay, and whatever is going out of New Blue is going live over here. So it gives you better graphics, um, more powerful integration with, uh, with data. And then we have um, Axel's XTV is Playout. If you want to build your own channel, whether it's online or you're sending to a cable head end, we have um, Axel's XTV. I've brought in some content here, and uh, if I, I'll just run it so that you can see that it's actually playing video. So it's a rundown sheet, and it's going to play through all these different files, but it has really important features um, in it. It's uh, got the ability to control vMix or a router or bring in NDI. Uh, I've configured these um, these black sources. If I cut to them, and it's it's going to give me a little error. Uh, this black source is actually our um, the SD the SDI to NDI converter out of our uh, the NDI out of our SDI to NDI converter, and uh, if I needed to cut to that for an emergency news break, this is our studio feed. And then uh, conversely, um, the the other side of it is that we are outputting um, via NDI. Uh, it's showing vMix, which is going to be a, a little bit recursive here. Let me get to a different different clip so it's not not quite so confusing. Uh, let's do a Scarhoy video. Everybody needs to know about uh, states. Um, so back to vMix. We can see that the output out of uh, XTV uh, is feeding vMix, and we can actually trigger uh, XTV to bring up this as uh, in program. So we can use vMix as a router, or we can um, configure it in several different ways. So XTV can be upstream or downstream of your, of your switcher. Uh, XTV can also be configured to output um, not just by NDI or SDI. It can also do multiple IP streams. It has the ability to, let me stop this one. Uh, it has the ability to do SRT, RTP, RTSP, um, RTMP. UDP, uh, pretty much everything that you'd want to shake a stick at, and two of them. So you can have two different uh, IP outputs out of this, as well as SDI and NDI. So that's a, a whole lot being tied together in one small form factor system. And both um, 
Tidler Live and XTV can be configured with SDI outputs. The unit that I showed you earlier was for SDI inputs, so this is more of an NDI or IP output system, but if you need baseband output, we can configure the, the one you in a way that, that works for that. So that is a couple of the different pieces of software uh, that work together uh, that Switchblade can offer this system as, uh, as a turnkey. So that's Switchblade's new One U. It's capable of running vMix or Axel's XTV Playout or New Blue's Tidler Live Broadcast, all at the same time, all with uh, varying IOs depending on your needs uh, to configure it the way that you want, all in a form factor which makes it perfect for flight cases or dense uh, rack configuration. So you can fit a lot of these in a small amount of space, uh, but yet still keep it neat and clean and organized. And if you have any questions about any of this, feel free to reach out to us at usbroadcast.co. Once again, I'm Eric Pratt at US Broadcast. Uh, you feel free to follow us on social media, like our videos on YouTube or anywhere else that you see us. Once again, thanks for watching. Thank you.